point of a vector and the angle or distance between two vectors. A major purpose of inner products is to determine whether vectors are orthogonal to each other. We may already be familiar with the particular type of inner product, the dot product in Rn. The dot product of two vectors x and y is the matrix product x transpose times y, or the sum of xi times yi. However, inner products are more general concepts with specific properties, which we'll now introduce. An inner product on V is a function that has the following properties. It's positive definite, which means the inner product of V in itself is greater or equal to zero, and equal to zero if and only if V is the zero vector. It's additive in the first slot. So the inner product of U plus V with W is equal to the inner product of U and W plus the inner product of V and W. It's homogeneous in the first slot, which means for any real number lambda, the inner product of lambda u and v is equal to lambda times the inner product of u and v. And it's symmetric, which means that the inner product of u and v is equal to the inner product of v and u. We call the ordered pair consisting of a vector space v and an inner product an inner product space. In the first example, we're going to compute the inner product of the x and y using the dot product as our inner product. So here the dot product is x transpose y, which is the sum of the xi yi's, so 1 times 4 plus 2 times negative 3 plus 3 times 0, which equals negative 2. In this example, we want to verify that the dot product is an inner product. We first start by trying to find, uh, trying to prove that it's positive to definite. That is, the inner product of v and v is greater or equal to zero and equal to zero if and only if v is zero. Well, this is of course true because the dot product of v and v is the sum of the vi's squared. So the sum of the components squared. Because they're squared, they're always going to be greater or equal to zero. So their sum is always greater or equal to zero. The only time they're ever equal to zero is when every component is zero. And that happens only when V is the zero vector. So in fact, the dot product is positive definite. Next, we want to show that it's additive in the first slot. So we look at the inner product of u plus v with w. Well, according to our definition, that's the sum of ui plus vi times wi, which is equal to the sum of ui wi plus vi wi. We can break that sum up and get the sum of ui wi plus vi wi. The first sum is the inner product of u and w, and the second is the inner product of v and w. We next need to check that it's homogeneous in the first slot, or that uh, scalar lambda times the inner product of u and v is equal to the inner product of lambda u with v. So the inner product of lambda u and v <clears throat> is equal to the sum of lambda u, uh, lambda ui times vi, which is lambda times the sum of ui times vi, which equals lambda times the inner product of u and v. Finally, we want to prove that the inner product is symmetric. Well, if we look at the inner product of u and v, that's the sum of the ui times vi's. But since that multiplication works in either direction, that's really the sum of the vi times ui, which by definition, is the inner product of V and U. And so because all four properties are satisfied, we conclude that the dot product is in fact an inner product. Symmetric positive definite matrices play an important role in machine learning, especially in the context of matrix decompositions.
So a symmetric matrix A, which is n by n, is called positive definite if for every x in our vector space V, excluding the zero vector, x transpose Ax is greater than zero. So let's take a look at an example to try and understand this a little bit, a little bit easier. We take a matrix A, 9, 6, 6, 5. That's symmetric. And we can show that it's positive definite because if we multiply by x transpose uh, times a times x, and we simplify, we get the polynomial 9x squared plus 12xy plus 5y squared, which factors to a nice sum of squares 3x plus 2y quantity squared plus y squared. Well, that quantity, because it's the sum of two squares, is greater or equal to zero. And the only time it ever equals zero is when y is equal to zero and uh, the bracketed term is equal to zero. Now the bracketed term is only equal to zero when three x is equal to negative two y. And so we can only get that the, that the sum of the two squares is equal to zero when both x and y are zero, but that's the zero vector which we've excluded, which makes the sum of those squares strictly greater than zero. On the other hand, however, the matrix 9, 6, 6, 3, which again is symmetric, is not positive definite because if we again multiply by uh, x transpose and x, we get 9x squared plus 12xy plus 3y squared, which factors to 3x plus 2y quantity squared minus y squared, which can be less than zero if we pick uh, a value of y that's large enough. If A is symmetric and positive definite, then the inner product of xy can be defined to be x transpose Ay. So this gives us another example of an inner product. In the next video, we'll see how inner products play a role in computing distances.